Hello everybody, my name is of course Griffin, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be answering what I think is a common question for Sony mirrorless users like me, which is how to import and work with AVC HD footage. Now before I had the camera that I have now, the Sony A6300, I had the Sony A5000 right here. And it only recorded in two file formats, it recorded in AVC HD and MP4. And while MP4 is easy to work with, you can just drag the file straight off the SD card, AVC HD is better quality. But if you tried to work with AVC HD footage in the past, you know that it is difficult to find a good way to do it. I'm just here to provide the way that I work with AVC HD footage, although on the A6300 we have X XAVCS, so uh, I don't really have to deal with this issue anymore. But I do think a lot of people do, so that's why I made this video. So let's say you've imported your AVC HD footage on an SD card like this one and you have it on your desktop. So you'll see that if you double click on the SD card, what you'd normally do is you'd find your footage in one of these folders and you just drag it onto your desktop and you'd be all good. But with AVC HD, people tell you to click on this private folder and you see this AVC HD QuickTime page thingy. So if you click on that, it brings up this window with the clips in it that you shot, but you can't really do much with it. If you try to drag it onto your desktop, that doesn't work. And if you try to open them, it takes a little while, but they play. You can't exactly do much with these files, and even if you could, they would be very low quality. So what you actually want to do is open up Adobe Media Encoder right here. And if you don't have it, you can get a free trial on Adobe's website for like seven days. So if you open Adobe Media Encoder, and we'll wait for it to load. So once you open Adobe Media Encoder, you should see a screen somewhat like this. On this left hand side here, you want to navigate to your SD card, mine's just called No Name. And then you're going to want to go into your private folder, and double click on the AVC HD, and your clip should be here. The thumbnails might take a while to load because of the MTS files are a little finicky, uh, but they should load eventually. And I want to also add, that I don't really recommend this for uh, longer clips. I just recorded like five second clips for a demonstration. Uh, but if you have like 30 minute continuous clips, you probably don't want to be doing this method. You should just record an MP4 and have the ease of use available to you. So once you have all your clips in this window, you're going to want to drag and drag them into uh, this queue over here. So now you're going to want to click on the first clip here and then shift and click on the last one so you select all of these files and you're going to want to click on the preset, either one, it'll select both of them. It'll bring up this pop-up that says you're about to edit encoding settings for multiple outputs, blah 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 blah, blah. do you want to continue, and you click OK. Now it'll bring up the window that you're used to if you use Premiere for exporting video. So you want to set an output name. I'll just put it as clip one, and you're gonna wanna save it not to your stream because that's where it was, but to your desktop or wherever you want it to be. You're gonna wanna click save. And for format, you're gonna wanna click on H.264 here. Um, and I like to do any of these presets. You could do match source high bitrate, uh, but I'll just put it on YouTube 1080p. If you have 4K video, you can put it on YouTube 4K if you're uploading to YouTube, or you can just put it on match source high bitrate, uh, whatever you really want. So now that you're done with that, you can click OK. And now, as you can see, we have desktop as the destination for the first clip, but for the second clip, it's still in the stream folder, so we're going to want to change that to the desktop as well, and I'll just name it clip 2 here. So now we're all good to go. We can click on this, select all of them, and click this green arrow in the top right to start uh, the conversion from the MTS files to whatever file you desire. As you can see, once it's done with one clip, it'll automatically start converting the other clip until all the clips are converted, and you'll know that it, when it's converted because it has the done indicator and the check mark. So now, as you can see, all of my clips are done converting, and if I head over to my desktop, we have them here, clip 2 and clip 1, and they are now in MP4 format, or whatever format uh, you chose when we did the editing of the settings. You can now open them and play them without any issues, and editing should be a breeze. Well, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you very much for watching, and if this was a help to you, 
leave a like or drop a comment with any questions. See you next time.